Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. I did a video, a testing video, back in June 2019, testing whether the various aircraft in DCS flew differently with stores pylons on or without stores pylons. So ignore the stores, just the pylons themselves. Do they make a difference in terms of weight? Or more importantly, drag. Weight will just give you extra drag. I tested, uh, I can't remember now, the Hornet, the F5, the A10, some other ones, and we found that no, at the time, the pylons, jettisoning the pylons, made absolutely no difference. A little birdie has now told me that the code has been changed and now the pylons are modelled in terms of weight or drag. So, let's go and retest. I've got three planes to choose. The F-18, uh, no loads, five pylons have been removed completely. And the loaded one, where there is uh, the pylons all attached. Note, out of interest, that the total weight, 36775, is the same uh, with pylons or without. F-16, with pylons, and if you want to remove them, by the way, you go right-click and remove pylon like that. And again, without pylons, uh, seven, so that should make a big difference if the drag is modelled. And then the F-14, which is, so this one is clean, no pallets. And this one has obviously got the four Phoenix pallets. Make your bets now and let's go and test. Let's start with the F-18 because why not? Let's go no pallets or no pylons. Full power. Off we go. Don't need to explain about the test in terms of environment because they're all in the same environment. So it doesn't really matter. You can look at true speed for what it's worth. 730 knots at the bottom, 732. That's topped out. Maximum speed of this aircraft with no pylons at all. 732 true speed. Okay, unpause. And that's going to get in. Loaded F18. Full power. 732 to beat. About 1,000 feet it was, I think. I don't think we're going to do it. We're not. Nowhere near. So we're about 7. Oh, 8. 707. Uh, so 32 take away 7. There is 25 extra knots not having your store's pylons in an F-18 so it is now modelled uh, my source was correct excellent F-16 no pylons off we toot let's get the burner on jeez this thing's fast look how fast it is that is hopelessly ridiculous okay 955 we're going to call it 955 clean incredibly fast aircraft loaded in we go certainly feels a lot slower So eight, 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 ten. We got there. So an absolutely vast difference there. I can't believe that's that much difference, but I guess it is. Uh, and that's because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pylons. So I guess that would be because a we've got more pylons, and b we're just not as powerful as the F-18. So each pylon uh, induces more effective drag in terms of you know the the gross effect. Uh, now F-14 will be our last test of the day. Uh, I've chosen an A because why not? Uh, let's do no pallets. A lot of you have asked for me, for me to do videos um, for this aircraft to test its kinematic abilities. I don't think the model's quite working yet, so I'm going to wait a few months, I think. Okay, it took a while to get stable, but 928. 928 at... Uh, thousand feet let's add some pallets so a 14a pallet make a difference it's gonna make a difference it's gonna make a big difference or is it or is it maybe not it's gonna be the same Yeah, it's going to be the same, 928. Oops, so it looks like it's module specific. Uh, yeah, definitely got the pallets on there, as you can see. So, and let's just check the other one didn't have the pallets, stand by. Didn't have the pallets. So, the F-18 and the F-16 have it modelled so that the pylons do induce drag and affect the top speed and acceleration whereas the f14 does not have that modeled at least the a version at the time of making this proving that it is module specific rather than dcs worldwide so in terms of which modules has it modeled and which it doesn't uh someone probably me is going to have to go through and try them all but just don't assume that it's modeled i think we'll leave that there for now i hope that was useful and see you later